As banks continue announcing their financial performance for the year ended December 2016, enactment of the Banking Act which capped interest rates has contributed to sluggish growth especially in the fourth quarter. Banks are now forced to adopt technology and invest in other sources of income like government securities to remain afloat. Cooperative Bank, for instance, has 83% of customer transactions now done through ATMs, MCOP Cash, Internet, and Coop Kwajirani agents. Group CEO Gideon Moriyuki says the group will continue to leverage on strong 6.2 million account holders base, digital banking focus, and multi-channel access, the basket of innovative financial solutions, and efficient delivery of services to retain market position and deliver business growth and profitability. This powered net loans and advances to increase 11% to 236.9 billion shillings. As a result, total interest income rose 15% to 42.3 billion shillings, backed by investment in government securities whose interest income grew 40% to 8.5 billion shillings. However, hyperinflation and currency devaluation in South Sudan hurt the joint venture that Cooperative Bank operates with the South Sudanese government, which wiped out 498.3 million shillings. Total interest expense reduced by 6% to 12.8 billion shillings on account of lower cost of funding. This helped the lender to post 12.7 billion shillings in 2016 full year net profit, representing a growth of 8.5%. With shareholder capital growing 22% to 62 billion shillings, Moriyuki says that the bank is in a position to fund major corporate deals. The bank has proposed a dividend payout of 80 cents per share and subject to approval from the Capital Markets Authority, the lender recommends a bonus share issue of one share for every five shares held. Ronaldo Willy, Business Insight.